It was September 2nd, 1986. I was wearing my favorite navy blue sailor dress, the one with the bright red bow on the front, as it flopped gracefully in front of me, and I skipped off to my first day of school. In my memory were the kisses I'd given from both my parents back at the playground. I was hopping off to kindergarten like a big girl, confident and all by myself. As I walked through the doors of what would fast become my favorite place, I was overwhelmed with all of the colors, the smells, and the excitement of kindergarten. I listened intently to the record player while begin, where I began investigating the baby chicks in their sawdust home, curious as to how the bulbs kept them so warm. Questions began forming about the world, writing, reading, and mathematics. Questions that I would have answered by my beautiful teacher, Miss McCormick. She had long brown hair, just like mine, and she wore fancy skirts. I looked down at my navy dress, and I knew that tomorrow I would be wearing a skirt as well. I wanted to be just like her. That's the moment when I fell in love with sharpened pencils, desks, chalkboards, students, classrooms, and learning. On that first day of kindergarten, at the young age of five, I knew that being a teacher was exactly what I was meant to be. For me, teaching is what I call living in my sweet spot. It comes from moments when my heart melts after handmade cards are given to me that says, Miss Carlson is the best teacher ever. Or the proud feeling I get when I see a former student playing the drums on stage in front of an audience. Dr. Norman Vincent Peale once wrote, there is a tendency in human nature to become precisely what you imagine yourself to be. My entire childhood was spent imagining my life as a teacher to fulfill the calling that I had been given. Through this journey, I have been blessed to have many people who have helped shape me into becoming the woman, the friend, the daughter, the student, the colleague, and the teacher that I am today. Not only am I grateful that all of you are here with me tonight, but I also want you to know that with each year that passes, I have learned more from you and from my students than any book or pearl of wisdom could ever offer. With all of my heart, I would like to say thank you for encouraging me to live my dreams and celebrating with me tonight as Natomas Unified School District's Teacher of the Year.